So, a conversation with somebody with attention differences when you're at a restaurant. <laughs> so, we've only been here a little while. We haven't got been here ages. It's been about like, it feels like two hours. It's probably been 15 minutes. 15 minutes. minutes. He has attention differences, so. It feels like hours. <laughs> um, I've got like ear things in because there's twangy music and like can you hear the kitchen and stuff but Louis then starts looking hold on we'll do it this way Louis then starts looking at the floor and like finds a knife and a tissue yeah. and things and I'm like stop looking at the floor and he's like I was like look there's so many things in here you could be looking at right now and he's just like but I've looked at them all I've looked at the things I've been telling friends he's just looking at the things <laughs> there's so many things the let me just minutes. let me see if I can show people the things I don't know if I can because I don't think I can change the does that top will not flip it no it doesn't flip it I don't think oh. so look there's like of beautiful things that he can he's already looked at all these things he loves these lamps but he doesn't like the ones in the middle because it's not that i don't like them i kind of do like them and also don't because they look like skin so uh, so we've come up with the theory no no not we not we just you we've come up with the theory that the, the owner flayed his enemies back home uh obviously in lebanon because it's part lebanese restaurant half lebanese half italian uh, but he flayed his enemies, tanned the skin, turned them into lampshades, brought them over here, hung them up on the ceiling in plain view, high the evidence. So basically that, that train of thought came from, um, I things. like these, but I'm concerned that they're, they're hide, and then he's like, and, and they might even be, yeah, and then he's like, they might even be human hide, I'm like, that would be really know? expensive. <laughs> to I know. if you bought it. Like, his enemies. So this is what he's thinking about. He's also thinking like, about the knives and the swords. Oh, you can't really see the colours, annoyingly. They're really nice colours. What about that? Does it show? No, no. Sort of. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see the colours on that one. So he likes those. Yeah, really we, cool. We've had some conversations about the paintings. There's artwork everywhere. So there's artwork above us. Someone called Lanya. Lots of lovely artwork. And um, so there's lots of things for, for somebody with attention differences to, like, look at. He's interested in the swords. And the ceremonial dapper above it. Yeah, he's very interested in those. But it's just the fact that we've really not been here that long and he was looking at the floor. And he was looking at the floor and I was like, stop going down to the floor to look. I've drunk my coffee. (laughs) So that's what it's like taking somebody out. 44 year old man with attention differences. (laughs) And, And I've had quite a tough day. She's making me sit still. But nobody's making him do anything. Although I have trapped him in the corner. Because <laughs> we're in like a booth. So I've had a tough day. A lot of times. Do you want to explain why I've had a tough day? Uh, I had a vaccine jab. Oh, food. Food's here. <laughs> Are you full? Stuffed. He's now getting even more fidgety because we've finished the mm-hmm. thing, the task, the activity. He's had a look at everything in the room. Multiple times. I've looked at all the things. <laughs> many times. The problem as well is where we are, the city we're in, the internet is really, really bad. So like 4G and 5G is really bad in this area. So he can't get the internet so that he can't fidget and like distract himself on his phone, which he does a lot. So he's doing this instead. <laughs> so I was trying to explain explain that I've had a bad day today, or a bad afternoon. Vaccine, second jab. At which I don't mind vaccines, they don't. Stabby, stabby, stabby. They don't cause me. Like, I don't get distressed by vaccines. But I was very, very overwhelmed. So, how did yeah, you describe old, the space? It was an old, um, it's the, it's the, the sea scouts, sea cadets. The, the sea cadets, so it's like a hall. Um, it's like a hard floor with a, a slightly raised hard stage in one corner, um, along one side. Uh, you know, like, there's no, Soft furnishings, it's all hard plastic chairs, wooden desks. So the acoustics are really, really yeah, bad. Yeah, very echoey. Uh, and there were a lot of different people, loads of fucking people talking. Language. There were loads of fucking people talking. So uh, there was lots of chairs Perry was in was three, rows. four foot away trying to say something to me and I just couldn't hear her over everyone else. So I was wearing, because I knew I was going to be overwhelmed because of been quite burnt out recently so I had my earplugs in I had a fidget object had my mask on which was actually making things worse okay tooth um back off tooth no tooth and I was sitting there and after a few minutes 
it just got really, really overwhelming. And because I don't leave the house very often, it, I end up being more hyper vigilant of my surroundings. And I was sitting there and I was thinking, I'm going to shut down. It's getting too overwhelming. And I felt really tearful. And I thought, usually I would mask through that and push the tears away. But I was thinking, no, don't do that because you're not comfortable. You're in distress. So when the, one of the nurses walked past, I, I sort of got her attention and I said, is there a quiet room? She didn't really hear me. And I just like started crying because I was just so overwhelmed and I showed her my badge that says I'm autistic. So she took me to a quiet room. Um, but just, yeah, it was just... just disappeared. I was like, fucking hell, just across the room, get up, go. And usually I can manage. I managed at the last vaccine with because that wasn't a very nice acoustic so either it wasn't well, as bad it, it as this hospital, but there were lots of curtains and it soft was, yeah it and wasn't stuff, as bad so, as this yeah. space there were so many people all, all waiting in rows basically to get their vaccines done so lots of noise lots of nurses walking up and down and we things and it was just too overwhelming and i was just like yeah i just felt and, myself shutting down and now we're sitting underneath human skin <laughs> lampshades six of them that's at least one whole person there. So the at story wasn't one. finished, but Louis's brain has gone off on to... It's been, it's been off on it because we're sitting under them. Look. Look at the things. People that's, that's skin. Him. Yep, that's what he's People gone off to. So the nice nurse um, took us to... Now I'm looking for quiet, eyeballs. Took me to a quiet... <laughs> took me to a quiet room. And then Louis came over and opened the door and she was like, what do you want? Kind of thing. And he's like, no, I'm with her. So um, he, he came in. Um... And I was fine then, I, was, you know, I got to calm down, and she was asking me about autism. And obviously, as everybody knows, that is my dedicated interest. So as soon as I get to talk about that, it could distract me from how overwhelmed and stressed I was feeling. Um, and so she just checked if I was still right to have my injection, which I was. Like I say, the injection itself isn't the problem, I don't have issues with that. It was just so overwhelming in the space. Have you shown them the size 50 leather slippers hanging on the wall? <laughs> That's the end of that story. Which was, I got very, very overwhelmed. Um, and then we'd come into town Absolutely. and to a, a quiet restaurant um, where we're in a space, there's nobody in here, which is quite nice. Um, it's, it's dark, it's a dude lighting it's dark. through people lampshades. It looks lighter actually in the camera. It's actually nice and dark in here. And yeah. I say, I've been wearing my earplugs. Louis wants you to see the giant shoes. Giant slippers. Slippers, which are these. On the wall. They're at size 50. Which are lovely. So this is a very nice restaurant that we both like. The reason we like this restaurant is Louis likes quite... Um, he doesn't like spicy food at all. I like Italian food. Yeah, with herbs. And this and is an Italian restaurant and also a Lebanese restaurant. Yeah. So one side of the menu is Italian, the other side is Lebanese. Yeah, so I have the lovely Lebanese stuff. I still don't... I don't do spicy food either, but I do like the Lebanese food and Louis will have the Italian because it's something he knows. And then I was winding them up because he likes... Um, uh, halloumi cheese, don't you? Mm. Um, but he does get frustrated when it squeaks in his head. It squeaks, it's fucking noisy inside your head. <laughs> Food should not make noise and green beans. inside your you head. You find that with green beans, long beans yes. as well. Um, and I, I, yeah, so I was sitting squeaking here and I could brain. hear it squeaking in my head, so I'm like going over to him to show him the squeak. <laughs> he was just impressed. Like chewing away in my face, like choo choo choo. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's been. This out. is all. Well, obviously not.